To utilize the DVD player as a hard drive disk storage uh, area, you will need a specific part that's called a HDD caddy. And uh, just to utilize a HDD caddy, you don't actually need a disk player. You just need the space for a disk player. Now, my computer doesn't have a DVD, a Blu-ray drive or something like that. It only has empty space, but it has the expansion capabilities is actually the only thing that matters. Here you can see this little thing here. We have a little lid. You can remove this. You can see the area where your disc player is. If you actually have a disc player here, it's uh, much more defined and easy to understand. Now, one screw is holding this thing inside the computer. It's usually located around here. It's not usually one of the deep ones, but one surface screw like this one. And this is the screw we'll need to remove to extract the uh, driver player. And we can carefully drag out this plastic piece or drive player. Now here we have the HDD caddy, which is the thing we will replace the drive with. We can open it up and you can see the shape similarity straight away. Here we have some uh, screws, nice, and uh, some uh, covering panel. However, you can use your old covering panel uh, in almost all cases. And here we have our drive. So to insert this drive, We'll just align up the connections. You can see a small little input there and a small little connection there. So we'll just uh, angle them down like this and just push in and then down. Now we can flip this thing over because we will need to attach the screws. Now this will require some uh, patience. There we go. There we go, all the screws securely attached right there. So we'll just need to remove this little thing here and place it on the HDD caddy. Right, we are reusing the metal piece of course, but we need to use the uh, new screws provided with the HDD caddy because the old screws are too short for this. Like this, it is now secured. All right, there we are. Now we can proceed to insert this into the system. And this was the original orientation of the old one, so we'll use the same. And we'll insert it here. And we're going to push it straight in, just like that. Straight in. And if you push it straight, it should connect without any issues. And there we have the little screw hole that keeps it in place. Now the HDD CAD was provided with a little panel with a button and a little hole for a LED light so it would kind of look like a regular uh, CD-ROM drive but um, if you have and can just stick with the old piece like that just looks much better so we now have inserted the HDD caddy successfully with a hard drive into the computer